Um, hey, greetings, everybody. Uh, it's basically Pepe here. Yeah, this is the Art Lexer podcast. And um, I usually uh, announce what episode this is, but my man, I've been recording a bunch of episodes and none of them has been actually published. So I'm not even sure if this one's going to go ahead. I hope it does. Um, yeah, and I'm tired of kind of messing up the model. I would say I'm mentioning a guest and then it's all messed up. So I'm not going to do a bit of that. Um, just before I get to all the other things, remember, like we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we are on, um, yeah, on Instagram, <laughs> not uh, not Instagram, on uh, AfriPod and uh, Captivator. Uh, you know, now, <laughs> I've been doing this gig for the hundred and fourth episode, and I and I still never remember to write that shit down. But we are on all of those uh, platforms. You can see us all of it. Uh, Cesar, of course, he couldn't make it with us today, um, but I'm sure he'll be uh, for the next episode. Um, and um, yeah, man, also just um, just to fill in on um, on this year, um, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a rough start here, especially with the load shedding in South Africa. So our scheduling is off, off, off. Um, yeah. So a bunch of a bunch of guests that we've recorded, and either something happened, and it just mm-hmm. fucked up either the, the saving of the files. That it, it's really been like a stuck start to the year. But whatever we are, you know, I'm actually learning. Um, that's also why we kind of get back to using Zoom again. Um, um, uh, yeah, and I hear Zoom is firing some of his employees, so I'm pretty sure I know why. But but anyway, um, enough about that. <laughs> um, yeah, remember, subscribe, 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 people. And um, thanks for all the love we receive on all our platforms, man. Um, and thanks for the many returning listeners. Much appreciated. Um, okay, man. So today, um, today, today, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this episode. I wanted to call it like a masterclass, but I thought it was kind of fucking cheesy. So, like, nah, I'm just gonna call it. Uh, today, we uh, we're talking to Damien Harry. I actually met him. Uh, when was it? I was doing a show in Brownfontein. He came there to, to with um, some of his students, and we've sort of been in touch since then. And like, he's been messing around a lot with AI, and as you know, like AI as the I think as the ultimate game changer. Um, in the art industry by a long shot. I think it's the biggest game changer. So if, if you look at like where we are now in 2023, we just had COVID, the pandemic three years ago, and now this, um, like, which, which everybody forecasted this all by the way, and you could see coming, and now it's here, um, it's available, it's um, it's on our devices. So we're gonna try to unpack um, as much as we can about it. Um, and see Damien's experiences and what he knows about. And um, I'm interested in. So, my brother, firstly, um, welcome. Um, how are you doing? Thanks, Wes. Good. Thanks, and you, bro. Nice to see Shabby. Seeing as, 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 as we've all got power at the same time, so that's quite a miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a uh, yeah. That's. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting. I'm waiting, dude. I'm waiting. They're gonna be like, "Sorry, guys, it's state of, of disaster. We're just switching everything off." Yeah, they're gonna see. Oh, okay, you know, I just said everybody got power, so fucking pull, pull the plugs. Uh, <laughs> you know, now, I've actually recorded uh, so many episodes. I think I told you off air, yeah, like with either the low shading and even the end or the beginning. It's 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 fuck. But anyway, enough for the. We'll probably actually we'll probably bring in the low, low shading. Will will we'll probably come up. Uh, in the conversation. Um, so just to the guest, man, just to give everybody perspective, um, none of the boring stuff, but like you basically draw with you. Um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about about Damien Harry and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, cool. So uh, my name's Damien, but everyone calls me D. My uh, alias is DH, because uh, you know, it's Damien Harry. Everyone thinks this. Why do you spell it like that? I'm like, it's H, because it's the, the mic. My, my my initials. <laughs> uh, yeah, so always, so everyone kind of knows me as D. Um, I am a lecturer. I do acting for camera and film and stuff. And I've always been a bit of a sci-fi nerd. Like from when I was a kid, I that's like I mean that's what got me into acting. I was like, hey, I wanted to, I want to go like you know chase giant dinosaurs and monsters and stuff. And you know that was the only way I could you know, could do that, become an actor and try to get into a sci-fi movie. Um, and then obviously, you know, getting into that, you start watching movies and you start getting ideas and you start being introduced to all these different concepts and stuff. And um, well, m- my dad was in, he's he's in IT, but he's been in IT for like, since I was born. 
so he was like part of the old internet groups and stuff and he was still like doing all this networking with america and we we're going to move to canada and all this stuff and so i got exposed to like a lot of internet like really early um so like you know i was like speaking to chatbots speaking to people and crazy people but i was always like you know it, it was i always it, it, it felt like you know i was living in that kind of sci-fi world where you know i'm speaking to this robot and it's responding even though it's talking the biggest load of crap and just you know just rambling mumbling words out not like now like whereas now you have a conversation with like chat gpt and you're you're like is this a person or not uh you know, so it's, so it's been interesting. And, you know, so I, I would say I'm a, I'm a resident of the internet in that, like, you know, I've, I've yeah. seen all sides of it. Like, I, I know where, you know, and how, how it actually works and, like, how, you know, the, the, the systems kind of, you know, and algorithms go. And it's not like I know coding or anything like that. It's just I'm very good at seeing patterns. And then when I see a pattern, then I'm like, hey, okay, cool. Then, like, then I'll test it. I'm like, hey, does this pattern work? If, if I apply this to, like, the system, does it create the specific outcome? And then when AI came along, I was like, wow, this is like exactly what I love doing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like I started with um, Deep Dream, which was like long ago, like, you know, that's when like Google just, you know, that was when they first AI, like anything like came out and they had Deep Dream and you could go like create these like weird trippy images and stuff. And I was like mesmerized because I was like, wow, this is like, this is actually kind of what you what you see on like psychedelics for example this is the very closest rep representation i've ever seen like to a proper like dmt trip or something like yeah i'm like wow that's actually really cool um like you know the, the, those like trippy rats in them like when you see the, like those old ai pictures and stuff yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me see let me see if i i think i might actually have a nice one that i can show you um and yeah, so I got into it then and then, you know, kind of in and out. And then I got more into like bots and stuff because I got really curious. And also like, you know, you see all these bots on Facebook and you see like all these like things. I'm like, how do how do people do that? How, how do you do that? Like, what what is that? How does it work? You know, what's it made from? How, what are you, you know, what's it going with? And then, you know, that kind of sent me down like some rabbit holes and it yeah. sent me more into like the AI fronts and stuff. So you know it was it was weird because like you know seeing everyone lose their shit now about ai whereas like you know we've been residents for like years already like like why is it only now that it's becoming an issue like like i mean like say like deep dream has, has been around for like right it's been around for so long and um you know there's been a lot of stuff i mean like and people talk about this stuff and they you know say, oh chat gbt is gonna steal these people's jobs i'm like people have been using all these other applications already to be like to write their essays or to do shit. Yeah, it's not yeah. Let's actually, let's actually let's actually just that, take it. Hmm? Finish up, sorry. Yeah, Kara. No, Kara. Um, um, you saying um, you mentioned. I just want to take it back, but uh, you mentioned something um, which I a point which I find particularly interesting. Um, you saying you sort of you grew up in a tech world, uh, you know, with your old man being in IT and, and, and so on. Um. I know from experience, um, most artists um, only really got into or, or, or became aware or I, yeah, let me just say aware of, of that much later in their life. Um, mostly after with Instagram, when when people could find them like, yo, yeah. Instagram is, 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 is less than five, definitely less than 10 years. I know that for sure, maybe seven years. Um, um, and now um, with, and then we had the pandemic, and then people realize, oh fuck! But like, actually, there's this whole world, uh, a virtual world that will really be existing on some social media. But now you can actually like make a living. So, so, so in other words, I, I, I just put it like that. Just gets that like the majority of of guys. This is new, and um, there's another point attached to that. And I want to hear it, like, and you can somehow you know take it from there. Growing up, um, 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 I, I've actually mentioned that this on this platform a few times. So I grew up in the '90s um in, in the early early 90s like all the all the action movies back then was was was, was to make us paranoid about being alive today fucking terminators had like all these you know all these uh there was movies that, even if you if, if, if you go back to uh literature um george orwell what's this the, 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 what's the other guy i was trying to have him the guy who wrote End of the World, uh, uh, World, World of the Wars. Oh, no, anyway, 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 it's not to get lost in translation. 
But basically, all of these guys had a really pessimistic look on the future, right? And boom, here we are. Yes, yes, this. Um, and um, the first, the first few articles I saw from, from AI was saying that it's gonna take your job, right? It's gonna take your job. So it's easy for somebody who grew up in the '90s, say late '80s, so forth, and and, and like like that, to be paranoid and to think yeah, that yeah, because like, I mean that, their that, that's what we've been is under us. So yeah, let's, let's. What's your what's your what's your take on that? Well, let's put it this way, right? Um, I took a week's worth of work and I put it into a day. So, like, what I think, like, uh, like to me, like, it, uh, you know, th there is there is the possibility that that it's it's I don't know, dude. It's you know, I, to me, I, I'm starting to see like, the, the, like say say like chats, GPT and stuff. It's more like an assistant to my job because it helps so much, dude. Like, I was able to like punt out all this diff all this crappy admin shits and all this like you know the bureau bureaucratic shit i literally just typed in the prompt i said hey i need this to be done uh, you need to include the references about this put this in put that in da, 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 da. and please just you know make it a three-page essay <laughs> there done that's like what would have taken me like an entire day to now go source and research and go through and like think okay how do i word this oh no that doesn't sound right i need to go change this i need to go change that and then now I just like, okay, cool prompt. And I read through it, make sure it looks good. Make sure it sounds fine. It's got all the good references. Okay, cool. Done. And that like, you know, take that. So I, I think what the people who, who are scared of it, taking at their jobs, I think they need to learn and embrace it and use it with their jobs rather, yeah, you know, that's like, a, um, that's a, that's a good point. Like, and, and, but you know, you know what I've seen, dude, is, is from what I've like, when I've dug in a bit into this and I've seen like, you know, the big push for this, for like the anti-AI like movements, I don't think is actually coming from artists. I think it's more coming from the corporate world because like, so, so like, you know, I've been reading the news and stuff and I see, and like, I'm like, they just, they pick, you know, the, the media will pick some random person, some artist and stuff who has had an opinion about this and blow them up. Right. Yeah. And completely like take their whole story and stuff and say like, you know, like, yeah. da, 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 da. like all those Instagram girls and stuff. Like, why are those Instagram girls the ones that are fighting when you have like, you know, actual fine artists and people who are creating work and like, you know, they're doing it for the art and not just for like the likes on Instagram. You know, where are they fighting? And you're not going to find them fighting. You're going to find them exploring and being like, hey, this actually, this is kind of cool. Like, what can I do with that? What can I do with this? Um, you know, like for like the, the, the for say with like um, Wombo and now with um, Mid Journey and stuff. For me, as like as like a visual artist as well, you know, who has to now create like scenes and stuff, I can now just you know, I can go type it out as if I would type out a prompt, just as I would for a script. I can type it out exactly the same into into Dream or into um, Mid Journey, and it's going to give me that shot. It's going to say I, I can say I want a mid shot of we. I want to see the a mid shot of the character standing in the distance where we see a whatever in the sunset and you just give that i'm like okay cool that works for a shot and then i can put that into like a storyboard and then i can now put that through to a client and say hey look this is what this is what this the shot would look like mm -hmm. so there are so you know there, there is these ways of like learning how to work with it and like i don't know like the like the jobs that are at threat are jobs that like didn't really take much to do anyway yeah. Like I like what I saw were like there were like yeah. a lot of people like these like um writers and stuff. And I'm like, like you're not really writing anything anyway. Like you go, go look at all these articles. It's just freaking pop crap and it's like click bait, click bait, click bait. You gotta keep yeah. keep saying click with to you. the next page and stuff. Yeah. And it's them who are who whose job the robot are going to replace because it's, you know it's like it's so easy to do that mm -hmm. and th you know that's what like really got me thinking about it i was just like th that's what it's about it's because the corporate world is actually so scared of what ai can do to them that they've realized they've got to use artists and the emotion and people who are going to get really riled up about something to fight point. against it right because what's going to happen later is it's the white color collar jobs, the blue collar jobs. Okay, no, sorry, the blue collar, like the white collars, all your corporates. That's going to become redundant 
we're not even going to have politicians and shit. We're going to have AI in place that's going to be like, this is how it should be. The resources are spread out adequately. There's going to be no human bias, no corruption and stuff. And that's what they're scared of. Um, interesting. Is that, is that um, loss of power? Um, interesting, interesting point there. Let me just jump in there. A few points. Um, the one about um, taking over menial jobs, absolutely. Um, and we can see that, uh, and no disrespect to uh, people who work as tellers, um, no disrespect to, to anybody who's worked like that, but um, yeah, stick over stuff like that and to make, you know, coming and getting more efficient. Um, so so I totally, I totally hear uh, that interesting point on, on them rallying up artists behind it. Um, and I sort of want to take it from there. Um, um, and, and, and you also mentioned a very interesting point about how it works as your assistant. Um, I think that's also that's also something worth exploring. So I just wanna I just wanna I, um, I read this article. I think it was two weeks ago, something like that. Um, um, basically, this guy uh, and and you know we can, uh, I'll explain this. And we can just take it uh, from there. So this guy, I think he's some um, American dude. Well, I don't even think it matters where he's from. But so this fellow was reading a story to his daughter, um, and he's, he, I, I, I think he just does some job. Thing. He's not a creative person, not by a long shot. So he was, was reading to his daughter and said, "Oh shit, um, maybe I could. Uh, uh, it would be cool if I could write my own story." And I think it was Chat. I think it was Chat. Uh, I think it was Chat GT. Or, or anyway, we'll um, we'll get that. Yeah. But I don't know. It was one of one of those apps that he used. And 72 hours later, he had a published book in his hand, and he was reading from his published book. Um, the article I was reading on uh, 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 had a very uh, a very skeptical sort of look on it and um they were really um a bit a bit a bit paranoid as well um but yeah i um, i guess i also read, read in between the lines i also thought that this person was actually fascinated behind what was going on maybe i just interpreted it but i think that's it i think that's a super interesting point to um to, to start off with like when you say you're using it like using it as your assistant where, um, where like a normal guy can just come and just write the book. I mean, there was a lot of critique in the book. A lot of people said that I think was weak, that the, the illustrations were poor. But I think the, 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 the I think you mentioned that that the, the, the technology will get smarter. So I think those are just teething problems. Um, sort of, how do you see uh, creatives according to? Um, yeah, how do you see creatives sort of working and existing in, in, in this world? You think it's gonna be? I mean, we, we live in the time through pretty stressful times, and a lot of that is through work. So, do you think um, you think AI is our salvation? I don't. I don't think it's it's like well, in in terms of art, I don't think so. I think it'll just be more. It's going to be what what I foresee happening actually is I think in the uh, in the years to come is we're going to have a, a vital revitalization in your. Um, like your more fine arts and your sculptures and that kind of stuff and human made stuff. And then man made is going to become a gimmick in itself. And that's going to, you know, we're going to see I art see prices then start climbing well. on stuff that, right? Because now the market has become so oversaturated with well. all these, all these yeah. AI images that you're going to start getting collectors being like, Oh no, this is gross. Yeah. I want something classic. I want something. I want something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to feel the, the texture. Sure. Absolutely. So like, you know, for like, when it comes to AI, like it's like, I use it as an assistant to be like, Hey, uh, please write me a quick, like just a promo up for this painting, this art thing that I've done. What, you know, like what, what, be, what, how, how could I sell it? That kind of stuff. Um, and mostly like my, I use like one, like Wombo and art and dream and stuff just to like, kind of express like, like thoughts and stuff that I have. And I just want to see. It's more like I'm curious about what that image would look like and how the how it gets interpreted. Um, you know, so like I'll I'll feed it with like overcome. And I'm like, what image does the robot like? What does the AI see as overcome? And then just like kind of run with it from there. And then there was this experiment that I did um, exploring that kind of thing. And 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 what's the word? I can, you know, kind of bringing these words to life and personifying them. And I think, and I did it with embellishment. I don't know if you saw that post. That was um, so. I fed the I fed the the AI the word embellishment, and I got a picture, right? And then I took that picture and I fed it back, and I kept filtering it and re-looping it through 
until what happened is the AI started picking up on certain traits. And then suddenly there was a nose and then there was an eye and then there were two eyes and there was a face. And then like eventually after the renditions, like from just what I could, from just feeding it embellishment, it had now produced this picture of a person that like embodied embellishment. You know, so it's like, like that. It's also that process of thinking, okay, and, and like, you know, it, it's that, you know, at, at personifying these abstract notions and being like, wow, that's a different way to think about it. And that's, th that's what I think AI is going to, it's what I, th I think that's what AI is going to do the most. It's going to change the way that we think about things. You know, like what I see at the moment is it's like kind of like we're, we, we see the world in like 2D. You know, we have these two dimensions, either this or that. Sure. sure. Right. But AI sure. is going to come sure. through and say it can be either or. Sure. 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 Interesting. Interesting point. Um, let's make it a bit practical, man. Um, let me give you a uh, working example. I'm a podcaster. Um, is it possible? I've I've read up, but I don't think that's it. Hasn't it? It, it, it didn't clear my my mind, or at least didn't give me the answer. I'm looking for. Maybe I'm reading the wrong stuff. Um, I know that, um, like like you say, in with um, with with using AI as as as, as an assistant. So for independent creators like myself. Um, and other podcasters, um, um, do you see it? I mean, because we because we exist virtually in the virtual world, do you seeing um, 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 artificial AI playing a um, or, or like you like you saying adding more layers to the game? So so and um, oh yeah, yeah. I guess I guess I guess. How do you think? Um, how do you see that? How do you how do you how do you forecast that going? Um, I mean, we're now sitting in we're now mid. February 2023. So let's say um, nine months from now, towards the end of the year in summer, when it's nice and warm and big thunderstorms and such. Um, do you think that um, that um, it's going to change the game in like you know in a major way that in about nine months now we're having a different conversation? Dude, I'd like like I think in like three months it's, we're going to be having different conversations because it's, it's we're getting to the point where it's going to become exponential. Like, if you just see, like, what's happened in the past few months alone, like, you know, it's like, you see, it's like that exponential thing of, like, it's slow, and then it gets a bit faster, and then it's faster, and then it's, like, really fast, and to the point where then you're going to get to that singularity where it's going to be, okay, well, now we have this entity that is actually smarter than us. And I think, I think that's, what's, that's what scares us the most, is they're like, oh, my God, what if this thing is smarter than us? Because our only kind of reference of things being smarter and how that rolls out is our own history and look how that ended out right so we have this like already this predetermined fear of like if these robots are smarter than us they're going to want to enslave us they're going to want to kill us they want to get they're going to want to get rid of us mm -hmm. but the thing is is they're not going to have any inclination to do that they're not going to have like, because that's not how AI is going to work or how it works. It, it's a purpose. You give it a role and it just fulfills it. Okay, cool. The role is I need you to find ways to, um, like, I mean, dude, I had a chat conversation with ChatGPT about creating um, sustainable water filters just using plants. Right. So now imagine that. Now imagine I take, you know, we go into the rural townships and stuff. And we set up these like, you know, towers where now people can get onto to the conversation and start asking these questions and go find these videos on YouTube and like, see, okay, how do you actually make this? How do you do that? How do you create these things? I mean, like, dude, very good I, point. I, 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 like I've, I, I've used it to create lesson plans. I'd be like, please write a two hour workshop practical workshop on and then after and then I list what I need in the class and I need, I need to touch on this I need you to do this bro it comes out that light lays out like cool introduction 10 minutes do this five minutes do this da, 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 da. And like doo, doo, doo. And I'm like cool well there we go and now that's not even the crazy like part it. when it comes to say like education because now chat GPT can speak in Tosa and Zulu That so, just, um, you know what that means. So, the, okay, okay, hold on. Um, 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 let me just, 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 just put a pause on there quick. Uh, I was going to make a follow-up question, but let me just take it a step back. So, if you're saying it is, it is talking in, um, in local South African languages, so are these, um, are there, is, 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 is there more coders um, um, in South Africa coding in Vanak? Is that, 
um, is 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 that a thing? Huh? Oh, sorry. No, so, that... so, it, 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 so, like, say, like, with with ChatGPT, right? Um, it it's it's not like it's alive. It's actually just it's it's a database that's already been closed off, so it doesn't actually know anything after 2021, right? So, it can make reference to anything before 2021, and like, I think their next update, like, it, it's still going to be in a few years once they can like figure out how to actually do it. Because I mean, like, when like say, I think what was it chats? It was one of the AI things. It was one of the image ones. Um, when it started, it was one guy. And he had to sit there and manually upload and sort all the images for the database. And because that's what I think a lot of people don't realize is that like, you know, it's it, like, you know, when we think about the cloud or when we think about this, these AI things, it's, it's not like they're just some magical electricity thing that just floats around in the sky there's a physical component to every part of their process you know just like our laptops and stuff they do all this magic and this wonderful stuff but there are bits and they're like you know specific parts that make the whole thing happen yeah yeah very good very good very good point um, um i was gonna I, I was gonna say let's just let's just let's just let's run with this interesting and thanks for that uh, that was a good point and i think also anyway anyway good point um the thing about uh you say that like in the next three months, our, 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 um, our you know, our language and our, and our experience around, around AI is going to change. Um, I um, actually, I fully agree. Um, um, and as an independent, uh, uh, as like, like a podcaster, I'm, I'm actually looking to switch almost completely over to that. And I was going to save me time so I can produce more videos, um, talk to more people, etc. cetera. Um, so um, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the Go on. No, I'm just saying, like, I've, I've, I've got students that are paying their school fees with YouTube. With Instagram, bro. Like, I've got kids that are, like, jet-setting, like, sitting there with, like, with, like, 20,000 followers and stuff, paying off their school fees. I mean, got, like, kids just, like, some guys doing pranks and stuff, and the dude pays for your school fees with it. That's, it's that's like, actually, we need to that's get... pretty cool. Right, like, and the thing is, is like everyone can do that. Like, if you get like a video on there and it like gets trends and it starts hitting, dude. Like, even years down the line, if that video keeps being watched, you're still gonna get paid, even if you've stopped like producing videos. That's why you'll see like there's quite a few uh, YouTubers. What they'll do is they produce all their content and they'll have like a shitload of stuff and then they just stop, and then they don't produce anymore and they don't have to because those videos are still being circulated like years later and now with like you have facebook with memories and all this stuff yeah. it just pumps it again and that like the market and the circuit flows again and then suddenly you'll get these these trends and these waves of these you know, and styles and stuff that come along interesting interesting yeah dude, it's quite, like i i think when the students start now when the students start the, these kids now coming into university and into school now are coming into a completely different world mm. because they're coming into a place like now i've got you know students who say they can't speak english really well they can get their 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 exam in english they can put it into chat they'll translate it into zulu and then they can answer it from there and actually understand what it's saying or if they really want to be like you know <laughs> dodgy about it they can just put the exam question into chat and it will give you the answer I didn't i'm not even that. joking ways i've tested already i i've, I've literally check here watch it dude let me can can we share let me check here let me yeah watch absolutely it. please 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 okay so okay right so here is an exam question right this is uh i don't know it's an english exam or something so uh let's see the, the, the question of you Yeah, so I'm just literally gonna just copy this. Copy. And now I'm gonna go to chat. That. Uh, why is it not paste? Oh, because I'm not copying with the right one. Um... Ah, what's it doing? Okay, 
Okay, so copy and then we go to chat. There we go. Okay, right. Send. And now you wait. Are you seeing that, dude? This is pretty cool. This is, um, I'm actually glad we got to do this. Um, this is pretty cool. Wait, 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 wait. Now, nah, wait, let me show you how better it gets. So let's just wait for it to finish what it's think. Oh God, it's actually going to write two and a half pages. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> well, there we go. It's speeding up now. But I mean, can I stop it yet? Okay, let's stop there. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. Okay, I don't, I don't even have to. I don't even have to copy paste it. You know, we're so used to copy pasting these things. What? Okay, well, not then, because it did it before. Ah. This is a sick word. Did we say, um, ah, okay. Because <laughs> you see, now, now this is also where it starts getting tricky because, like, it doesn't quite see. I can res or respond to text based questions in Zulu. How can I, how may I assist you today? So, you have, so, so it is a bit tricky. You have to find, like, the right wording to get it to do something. Okay. So, so that's now, like, so let's say try. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so answer me this then. Um, is there is um because everything here seems pretty straightforward so that you don't need to know um can i know run or, or check out some other youtube birds or something like that or some other i mean it seems Dude, it seems pretty, those guys uh, are literally uh, making those videos training. to make cash off you <laughs> because that's what the, because that's because that's what chatbot told them to do Fucking that's what's hell. crazy dude uh, that's what's crazy bro you think like, i went you can ask it for a business plan and it'll talk about how you can like use chat gpd to, to make money i mean these guys like sitting there like punting out article after article after article and the thing is is that they're actually decent articles and that are factually based because it's not some person behind the article lying and their shit off and having a bias it's an ai saying this is what it knows it's insane, dude. It is, it is like we are getting to that point where it's going to start getting real crazy. Yeah, like, I mean, it's crazy actually, already, but... Let's actually, let's actually pick it up from there because... Um, so, I see uh, we've got to end this session soon-ish, but we can just restart uh, on another session. Uh, it would be cool if you can show us how, um, how the visual art side works. Um, um, if we can prompt it to, um, let's see if can I, I can, if I can you? feed I something, can. um, um, but okay, let's do that. Oh yeah, we can. This. Cool. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, um, so we can restart. In the, yeah. Yeah. In the, in, in the second session there, I think we've got like, what, five minutes now. I don't think we can do it in practical in five minutes really. So, um, I'm um, listed this. um, to the listeners. I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think this is pretty cool and it's, um, it's actually got me exciting excited uh because i just see limitless possibilities um and i think there's more ways we can benefit here than anything else um so remember you're seeing that in the art lakes of podcast remember to like subscribe and comment to this channel don't forget um and just before we had a um, break um damon just showed us how uh, it can work with well you've seen it how you can work with text but now but now <laughs> I, i'm an artist bro uh my mind is already um if i if i um can can we, can we test this if i if i give it a prompt of let's say five words of an okay i actually know exactly what to give it uh can we um can we test to see um, um there's a uh, 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 uh i got this oh, you, you, you have Some you have of... to switch on uh you oh. gotta switch on the sharing again um there's a uh, um i was um um, I'm busy conceptualizing work around two words um, called summer stench. Um, summer because it's like it's fucking summer, and stench because it, you know, it, life stinks. <laughs> life stinks in 2023. In January 2023, 
Um, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for depressing shit. Um, it's actually, um, I'm actually using the words in a sort of a playful kind of way of stuff. So uh, could be prompted and then see what type of uh, what type of images or or, or, or how else should I um, you know specific must I um, must I be in the prompt. okay. No, you see, so like so this is like kind of the like how I also started as I started with this kind of like um, you know these abstract words and trying to figure out like emotions and stuff. So mm -hmm. like here now with Dream is you can have like these different art styles. So they've got like realistic version okay. two, virtual effects. All right. So they have like all these different styles that you can choose from, and obviously you've got your premium ones that are the paid version. And it's also as you can see here, like you can you can render one, but you can't render four, but doesn't really matter i mean like you still make some pretty dope things so, so yeah uh pick a style what kind of style yeah, would you i was like? gonna ask like um these styles here they look all very uh internet wallpaper -y, so to speak is there um because i've been reading up like these people are guys are saying that they are uh using some artist techniques so i mean you don't get a bigger artist in South Africa than william kentridge um if there's one guy who i think whose work is out there enough it will probably be him. Is it? Um, could we see if there's a style of William Kentridge? Uh, he is my favorite artist, dude. I like. I wrote essays on him when I was at varsity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kentridge is Kentridge is pretty. It's pretty. Is something else. Um, but, and he's and he just keeps producing more and more and more. It is, it is, it is unbelievable. So let's see. Let's try to find something that will. There we go, ink. So I can so we say ink or line yeah, art. So I yeah, think those would be yeah, similar to yeah, his. So let's try with ink. Yes. Yes. Well, let, let's try without a filter first. Let's try no style and okay. see what it does. The cool thing about this, about the, um, the dream is that you can get it on. Like, I mean, I found it because I found it on my phone. Like, this is actually the first time ever, like right now, logging into the the thingy version. Yeah. Uh, where did you, you find it on the Play Store? Wow. Yeah, dude, it's on Play Store. It's on Play Store, man. So then there, so that's what it comes up now. What so no, with, with, with no, that is, no, has... <laughs> It has, it has, especially this over here, like that yeah. there has, because I've yeah. seen like this, this style here, where it has like these, um, this like kind of weird print kind of thing that does happen often when you have no style, when you have no style chosen, but this here is very, that's the Kentridge part there coming through. So now let's try with a different, um, filter on if it lets me. Interesting. Uh -huh. So let's try with line art. Um, and it's pretty quick to. Oops. Um, yeah, man, I see this here at the bottom here. It says remix your NFTs. Um, that's actually another thing I would like to explore, like in full and do a full on, full on episode on it. Um, okay. There's actually a brother. Actually, I know somebody who started pretty similar to this. Um, I won't mention his name, but I know somebody who's got a very similar style to that. Uh huh. See, but now, now, now say now, like, let's say, um, let's say, um, uh, man sitting on a bench. Oh, wait, 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 sitting on a bench. What? Um. Yeah. I. I. I could. I could say I've seen. Um. Also, I guess like the style so is also. So now, so now, let's try just say without without the style, like without the in the style of William Kendrick, and see if it comes up. Because also, like what will happen is a lot of the images will be quite similar, um, depending on like what their style is. Let me see. So now, like there, mm, it looks a bit surreal. Yeah. So now that's with, without the without the Kentridge influence. But now, say now we put um, style style of. Let's see if try this. See if they know this dude.
Mm. So I don't know if you know Alex Pardi. He's like quite quite a is a conceptual artist. He draws a lot like this kind of stuff. So let's try the the, the gouache. So yeah, so you see, like there's a whole like when I started this, when I started playing with the AI, it literally had one, two, three, no, it had one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let me um, so, let me, so, so let me ask you this: Can we um, can one prompt the AI to produce a podcast show? Is that possible? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think that's possible yet. Uh, you could get it to prompt like a script, uh, but not the. Uh, like but, 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 but not working on the actual file. Because what I'm because what I'm finding interesting, man. Um, so we're busy developing my app, um, Gallery 360 Africa app, and um, I'm actually, I'm actually in a position. Um, last year, and especially the the, the black arts here isn't helping. Um, and the, the, the black arts and there's a few other professional and like personal things which is just making the 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 the, um, the team complicated and I'm and I'm and I'm looking more to outsource as much as I can to 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 artificial intelligence um, and I'm also trying to understand exactly mm -hmm. how um, um, so 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 if the artist for example like if we want to produce this uh, episode um, 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 you know how how the artist should. Um, should prompt AI and how, and how we work with it um, because I think I think working as an entrepreneur is it especially in the arts um, it's becoming it's becoming tougher it's becoming really um, really really tough um, and I also don't see the point in um, using traditional um, I would say traditional processes because I mean we all know that's outdated as fuck and outdated as fuck three years ago so it's definitely outdated today <laughs> Um, and um, as, as, as an artist, as, as a podcast, I really want to do an, an episode like this where we can sort of explore, um, see, see its limits um, and, and sort of see where we can work, but we're in a practical, um, like, we, um, like, we, um, like we did here. I just have um, one more like thing I want to I wanna explore um, and see your views on that. Um, and I saw when we were messing around with that image there, it was said. I'm gonna remix your NFT. Um, I've been reading up about about NFTs for 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 a while, and um, I I I don't get it. Um, I see the um, I see it's the the hype behind it, just like there was with uh, with crypto. Um, but um, I as 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 like me as an artist, I don't see myself sort of participating. It's just because I don't really understand. I don't really. I, or when I say understand understand how how me as, as an art and what i do as an artist sort of how i can um, 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 um adapt to that um to this new platform but um i have been reading up about like how musicians are using it um and then there was that um ridiculous thing by donald trump who he actually sold nft cards as well um so as ridiculous and as loony as that was it was still like a huge huge profile figure um that's using that as a hustle um so let me be specific with the question, man. So with that said, with what I just said, um, um, and um, I mean, you, um, you you know how the art world works, um, you know, the gallery, the artist, the buyer. Um, where do you see NFTs fit into this conversation in South Africa? And um, do you recommend it? So if I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm smoking a joint, I'm having a beer, I'm just messing around with some with some images like like you are now whom i say i you know i publish an nft can i make money is that practical what's your what's your what's your take on so, on, so from on that? Well, to what i found like digging into the nft because i mean like when you and me started talking like last year that's what i was trying to get into i was trying to see like what this was and like it i don't know like there's so much of it that just seems very, very crypto and scammy kind of thing but at the same time, there's also like a bit of validity to it. But I, I think it's also still in its like infant stages. And I think it's going to stay in that infant stage for a while because there's just so much people making money off it at the moment. There's just like, you know, it's just cash and there's just like wealth. It's been going everywhere because of these NFTs and stuff. 
but like for me <clears throat> i think nfts will become more useful in the future for artists as a way of copywriting their material you know you like to actually say to like and finalizing and, and putting it and saying like this is a like certificate to say that this is authentic this is the original you know so like you'd get like you know say like you 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 sell like a piece right you have the nft of that piece as well and then it's like that this is the authentic like original I piece it. I and that's what I, I think might might start it. happening is we is we're gonna it's gonna come back to value because we get the market's gonna get so oversaturated with all this yeah. like art and all this like yeah. imagery that yeah. eventually it's just gonna become normal and we're gonna want something different and something new and I think NFT is just like it's gonna be more of a way that you know like solidifies your 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 patents and your content I mean like this is my stuff so I think your NFT is actually what's going to be the saving grace when it comes to AI art, because you're going to able to patent your, your, your image and be like, this is mine. And if you use this anywhere else, you're going to have to pay me for it, which then that kind of incorporates back into your AI and stuff, because now an NFT is already a, di a digital entity. It's not like a photo or a creation. It's a, it's its own digital entity that it can then, you know, counteract there with the AI or doing its own crap. So I think, yeah, dude, it's like, we just like, the, it's, it's like all the parts have, have now like surfaced and we, we kind of know where we want to go and what's possible, but we are just not sure how to get there. Like we're still trying to put the different things together and say, okay, does this work? Does that not work? And we're seeing, okay, cool. There are some copyright issues when it comes to like your AI and stuff. And now those, those, those things are being ironed out. The data sets are changing. They're, they, you know, they're instead of just like scoping the entire internet, they're specifying their choices. They're being doing manual searches and stuff. So it is perfecting. I mean, like, I think the guys who started like no idea what was what was going to happen. You know, they just opened it thinking, oh, it's just going to be testing, and so people are going to play around on it. And then next thing, you've got like the entire planet now, like boom, trying to find out where they can get chat BT on their phone interesting you're saying you're saying some some interesting points and i totally agree with you that a market will become saturated with it um which will which will i mean obviously drop the value but like yeah like like you say uh within a few you can sort of like validate your own digital image uh, uh i definitely i've seen that uh, uh there was something i um okay you know i've i've i've, I've i watched a really cool uh, video where somebody explained that but you know i think if i don't know exactly how it explains i'm not gonna put it on here because i'm gonna publish this episode and i don't want to sound like some who doesn't know what he's saying but to cut it but to cut it short is where is where the artists can take the um so 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 all so all their art and then value it and then you I, i'm not sure if you put it on the blockchain i don't think it's that but then you put it on, on somewhere and, and, and it has value and it has a certain value um which 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 you know which which which, which, which grows um uh, over time um and it's a way of um i think it's adding oh fuck i don't know the actual word i must i must, I must actually re-watch that thing again but um i find this thing so interesting i because we now in the with all with most of the guests on this platform uh, you know guys working with book fairs art um, 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 art exhibitions and, and such the overwhelming overwhelming majority of, of, of everybody is still using the old formula and the old formula is when you have a show you invite people they must get into the cars drive there, and then spend time and spend money at the specific venue and then drive off again and um, I think that this um, it's unsustainable. And and and, and 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 I think it's 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 I I, I um whew. that's why I part reason why I set up this um this podcast like I, I can chat we can share ideas like this and see how practical it is. Um, I just got one more point to make and we can sort of wrap up. Um, and it's more to do with my company with with Gallery Three Hundred and Sixty Africa. Is that these are the type of ideas that we are looking at um, and trying to build the tech around it. Um, and um, we are looking at this thing pretty, um, and we are looking at, I think there's a, oh, sounds like your little one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I actually heard that. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, yeah, I was going to say that this is something that we are looking at very, very carefully and trying to get as much information as we can. Um, I'm 
you know, like in this in this post COVID world, there's just been this avalanche of information. Um, and um, even though I might have read up on something like that, it's always to retrieve. <laughs> retrieve what I read and, and I actually read that there was that was an app that can actually another an artificial intelligence app that can help you remember um so sort of program everything that you read and reference so for example now I could just be spitting <laughs> sounding really really super super super, super <laughs> hard <laughs> and impressing everybody but I thought that was just an interesting practical way of using it my brother this was this was this was really interesting man um Sort of yeah, like Wes, uh, before, up, before up. we round up, dude, um, something you need to go check out. Uh, yeah, please. Look into VR, VR chat. VR chat. You can get it on, I think it's Steam, on the Steam on the Steam thingy. Um, go look in that, dude. I think there you might find a lot of interesting things that are going to like tingle your bells. Because oh, there okay. it's, I mean, it's, so what virtual chat, like VR chat is, is like, you are i mean you can go on your normal laptop you don't have to have the vr sets and stuff um but you can it's like a virtual reality you go into it's like meta kind of thing but it was before meta this is old school right and um yeah dude like people have like galleries and they have exhibitions they have yeah, like shows we, they have live that, music for sure for sure for sure that's exactly exactly what we what we are trying to do and we're trying to do it for the you know, the focus is to start off with setting um so um i realized like um especially like you can like in zoom and bots even in modern peak um in the suit too there's guys we uh these platforms and and our governments are fucking up just making our jobs a lot easier i've seen like if we can have most of these guys just migrate migrate to to to, to these digital platforms and we can have more autonomy we can control it ourselves I really get, I get, I get, I get, I get incredibly um, excited about it. That's definitely, definitely the thing we're looking to do. And then also stream events, uh, uh, um, like, um, yeah, so, so you can have people paying. Um, I would also, I mean, like, I see uh, the thing, the, 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 the possibilities of, the, of what we're talking about here is fucking endless, man. And it gets me excited. It really, um, 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 it really, it really, it really gets me excited because I think that, we at the beginning point of of this new, not revolution, <laughs> of this new movement or lifestyle. Let me say lifestyle. And I think it's a pretty exciting time, my brother. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah. Any uh, it closing? It has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Um, yeah, no, no, it was. It was. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, closing. 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 Yeah, advice. Uh, majority of people on Facebook are not real. <laughs> I read that um, Instagram, Instagram is even worse. Yes, I was going to get Instagram. Not so much now. Not Twitter, not so much now because Elon Musk went so strict with his bots. I'm, I mean, my, my bot, my Twitter bot is still running out there. How many? It's sitting on 124,000 tweets. And, it own, and I only started it in December 2021. Yeah. So it's like clocking. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Like like the, the 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 first version of this bot, it clocked up at about two point five million tweets in like four years, and before before wow. they shut it down. Wow. So this this the damage. So like if so, and I mean it's it's like it's a simple easy algorithm and stuff, and it's but it can do damage. It's like if if I, I say now I go and I tag someone and I tag like an entity or whatever like within like by the end of the day they're good their phone's gonna be like because beep, 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 uh, yeah, you're gonna yeah, be having like yeah. hundreds of tweets just going off at the same time i've been attacked on so there's, uh, there's lots of fun and, and stuff so oh i've sort of seen now there's uh, the hateful side of it I've, I've i've unfortunately had a taste of that um on instagram i read like there's over i think there's over a hundred thousand people with over a million followers so I mean, with that stat, they clearly most of those people don't exist. Um, I also read that most celebrities are like over half in some cases of their fans are all fake. Yeah. Uh, so it's all click farms. Um, so it really the, but I find in that conversation, I find the, the, the interesting thing is 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 how uh, 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 real these fake people are. Um, 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 and how real whatever they say, yeah, you know, has consequences in in in, in life <laughs> in, the, in the real world. 
So as much as it's fake, it's pretty fucking real. <laughs> and I think the yeah, office, dude. I mean, like that's I, like I, like there's, there's those guys like handing out money just for nothing, bro. And it's just and like these guys just set up the bot. The bot just goes and sends all these messages and all this crap and whatever. And then you got these poor suckers who have no idea how the internet works works and they think oh wow i've just like struck it lucky and then <laughs> next thing they know like their bank account's empty uh yeah i mean uh what's this guy you stay involved recently lost a good couple of million through a similar type scam um i mean and you, you would think like somebody as a global superstar like you have smart people in his team say people like that are getting fucked over i don't see what so that's why we need to talk more about these things we need to understand these platforms and we need to how we now we exist in a and um yeah man i think this was my brother this was this was this was really cool uh, i'm gonna wrap it up here i think we covered 100 percent of everything thank you my man dude it has, this has, the, has like been such a good start to the weekend <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you that thanks man um it's not raining here by me but it's seeing the weather the, the, the weather seems pretty lovely um just all my listeners yeah man guys there's still a lot more our content don't worry the content coming from this channel will all be <laughs> generated by my generated by myself or Sivan Kosi um none of us should be AI mm. influenced or AI generated um at least for now who knows who knows mm. I might just decide to take some so that it doesn't have a part like just churn out art and then um I just come collect the money who knows we don't know <laughs> I know I'm saying something and it's saying the plot something completely opposite but uh yeah i think i think it's time for a beer on my side as well and uh, my brother yeah i'm gonna go roll myself a joint me too me too uh <laughs> no i'll let you know when this episode goes live and to all the listeners one love i'll see you guys in another week's time peace out y'all peace